winter storm Grayson could mean more major closures along the eastern seaboard on Friday. We've got details on what businesses and schools will be open. The bomb cyclone that is winter storm Grayson caused airports, schools, and business from South Carolina to Maine to shut down on January 4 and many closures are going to continue into Friday, January 5. Almost all flights out of New York's LaGuardia and JFK airports were suspended or cancelled the day the storm rolled in and the New York Port Authority is advising travelers to contact their airlines on Friday to see if their flights are affected by the ongoing conditions. The same goes for Boston S. Logan Airport where 700 flights were cancelled on January 4. Massport Director of Aviation Ed Frenny advised travelers call their airlines to check on the status of their flights and advised people to stay home if possible. Don't go out on the roads. Coming to Logan is not going to help, Frenny told WBZ TV. The same goes for Fridaymany restaurants, shops, and businesses in the Big Apple will be hit or miss as to whether or not they will be open on Friday. The city wants to keep traffic to a minimum so that plows are able to clear the streets of the January 4 snowfall. Be sure call ahead if you want to have lunch out because your favorite cafe may not be open due to the sub-zero temps gripping the area. However, the subways and other forms of transit will remain operating in the New York area and in Boston the green, orange, red, and blue transit lines will be running on regular schedules, so folks who want to get around will be able to do so, though they'll be bracing minus 20 wind chills and lower. See pics of the 2018 bomb cyclone, here. The show must go on when it comes to Broadway, as many plays are still scheduled for their Friday performances. However in East Harlem, the annual Three Kings Parade on January 5th has been cancelled because of the storm. Even theme parks aren't immune from the bomb cyclone as Florida's Universal Orlando Volcano Bay will be closed through Friday. Disney's Typhoon Lagoon and SeaWorld's Aquatica were closed through January 4th and park officials will be determining if the weather is safe enough to reopen those attractions on Friday. So many school districts along the eastern seaboard will likely keep students at home on Friday to avoid dangerous travel conditions associated with winter storm Grayson. As far south as Sumter County, SC it was announced that their schools will remain closed due to the storm and more districts all the way up to the state of Maine will likely do the same due to the ongoing hazardous conditions. It all depends how the roads are in your area, so check with your local district to see if you or your kiddos get another day off on Friday due to the storm. Are you planning to stay at home on Friday and wait out the storm?